Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my latest Hayden Row haul. So this was an order. I hadn't planned on really making any more orders um, until fall, but she restocked on my birthday and I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to order. So she did have quite a few things that I really, really wanted to try and a few favorites of mine. And um, one thing I do want to say, her customer service is beyond amazing. So she messaged me over the weekend, I think. It must have been over the weekend because I received this Wednesday. So she must have messaged me over the weekend. And she had oversold, I had bought a ducky dozen of Midnight Cowboy and she had accidentally oversold it. And so she messaged me and she gave me options. She said, you can either pick another ducky dozen from something we have in stock you can get a refund or I will upgrade it to a loaf for no additional charge. And I thought that was super nice of her. She did not have to do that. And, you know, most people, if things are oversold, they will refund your money. And the Ducky Dozens are like $8.25 and the loaves are like $16.50. So that's a big jump. But she felt like, you know, she was obligated to offer that to me. And so I picked the loaf. And it's kind of funny because that's the one I wanted in a loaf to begin with. But I don't have many Ducky Dozen. And so when I saw it available in the Ducky Dozen, I decided to grab it because... I only had a couple Ducky Dozens here and they go really fast. If you participate in her restocks and you try to buy Ducky Dozens, you know what I mean. They go fast. Um, so that was super sweet of her. She did not have to do that. She, all she had to do was just message me and say, hey, we oversold it. I'm going to refund your money. But instead, she gave me those options. And that is just absolutely amazing customer service. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. So this is her card. I love her cards. They are just so simple, but they have all the information that you need on them. And then she always sends one of these stickers, like positivity stickers. And then she's been sending these like post-it notes with her, um, with her, her name at the top. And she always does a handwritten letter and there's always a ton of these. I mean, I have like seven of these. I love these things are handy for, you know, appointment reminders. If I, cause I stick re appointment reminders on my ca kitchen cabinet. So it smacks me in the face and I can remember, um, for small grocery lists. There's so many things that I love these for. So, all right, I'm going to start as usual with the samples. I got to find them. There they are. Okay. All right. So the first sample that I got is Cabana and I do have a low, no, I have a scoopable I don't remember if I have a loaf or a scoopable or both, but I have a bunch of this. I may have scent shots and a scoopable. That may be what I have. Either way, I have some of this. It's bergamot, winter apple, sparkling citrus, violet petals, warm cotton, sea salt. And I love her duckies. They are the cutest things ever. And that's why everybody grabs them up. Um, but I love the two-toned. And this smells super good. Now, I haven't melted cabana yet, so I don't know on warm if it's going to, you know, be the same as I like on cold. This one I was very intrigued by and never ordered because some of the um, the cedar wood is what got me. Not like too scared to buy. Kennedy Com Compound and it is bergamot, lavender, citrus, sandalwood, cedar wood. This has never been offered in anything smaller than a loaf as long as I've been buying from her this year. Um, it's a, like if it was available in scent shots, I would have grabbed one to try, but it hasn't yet. And this is really nice. It is manly to my nose, but I would probably pick that up in a scent shot. And then Sweet Smell of Victory. And it is blending three berries and white tea. I I'm starting to really love white tea blends. Oh, God, that's so good. Okay. Berries and white tea are some of my favorite blends right now. I've been living for those. Okay. So... I'm going to grab these because they're on top. So I picked up two Ducky Dozen. One is the Beatles. Now, I don't open these till I get ready to melt them just because I, I just want them to stay, you know, nice and secure. And this is Fresh Pick Strawberry. This is the only thing I bought from this scent. So I don't know what it smells like because I have not opened it. And I'm not going to. I'll probably open it. Once I open it, I'll probably rebag them. And then I got Concord, and Concord is Barbershop 1920s and Tide. And you can see, look how smudgy this is. This is why I don't order in the summer. So it, it was about 78, 79 degrees when I got this package on Wednesday. And I was home when the mail ran. The mail ran relatively early. It was noon. 
Um, like yesterday, my mail ran four o'clock in the afternoon. So look how smudgy that is just from being in the mail truck till noon, 12.30, whenever it ran. Um, and that's why I always say I don't buy in the summer. And I got a loaf from another vendor yesterday and it was pretty smudgy. And I just don't like that. I think it's just... I don't want to say unprofessional because it's not the vendor's fault that it's hot out, but I just think it looks, it doesn't look very appealing, you know, to my eyes when it looks smudgy like that. So for me, I just don't, I'm very, I'm, I'm trying very hard to get all my orders in and be done until fall or close to fall. Um, because it is, a, it's a pain. My, my post office is not the most pleasant to deal with and so trying to ask them to hold packages when it's hot out just does not work. Um, I'm lucky if they'll hold it for vacation. <laughs> um, there's been times where I have asked for them to hold it while we went on vacation and then we came home and I had a mailbox full of mail and packages that stacked up at the door. And I'm like, those could have gotten stolen, you know. So I don't deal with my post office any more than I have to. All right, so scent shots. I got more than four, which is frosted sugar cookies. I do have a loaf in this. I do like to pick up a scent shot in some of these scents I have loaves in just because you never know. If I hate this in the scent shot, I can destash the whole loaf without having to cut into the loaf. And this, I'm pretty sure I will never have to destash. It smells so freaking amazing on cold. It just smells like sugar cookies, which I love. And I love that she donates, I think, 10% of sales to childhood cancer research uh, for that scent. All right, I picked up two Pineapple Whip, which is, I guess, the Disney World, you know, like Dole Whip or whatever. And it smells, it smells like pineapple and whipped cream. It's really good. I picked up a Sunshot in Rocket Pop, which is lemon, lime, blue, raspberry, and cherry. I love how it's red, white, and blue. Mm, that's really good. I'm going to put that in my summer box. I picked up two coconut lemongrass, which is self-explanatory. I'm just going to take out the ones that are multicolored, so it's green and white. It's really good. I love coconut lemongrass. I've been really into the coconut lemongrass scents lately. All right, I picked up two celestial. And this is white tea, yuzu, aloe, and lemon. And that smells really good. I'm trying to get this. I have a doctor's appointment in... A half hour, so I'm trying to get this done. Midnight Cowboy. So I did pick up a scent shot of this too. Coffee, vanilla, and caramel. I picked up two sugar cookie. I picked up a relaxation, which is powder, rose, lavender, light vanilla, musk. I only picked up one because the powder and the rose kind of scared me, but it smells so good. And I always regret doing that. I regret only picking up one. I got Easy Rider, which is leather blended with musky sandalwood. And that is really good for being a leather scent. I'm not huge on leather or manly. And then I got three Brady Bunch. This one I wish I had gotten in a loaf. And it is Fizzy Soda, Orange Satsuma, Strawberry Passion. This is going to go in, some of these are going to go in my summer box too. And I got Flying Circus. And this is Strawberry Bergamot, Musk, Sweet Sugar Cane, Tonka Bean. So I got this specifically because... <clears throat> My kids went to an elementary school. My daughter just got out of the elementary school last year. Um, I had nine years with my kids at combined at that elementary school. And their gym teacher had been a gym teacher there for 17 years. He was part of the flying circus in um, for FSU, I believe, um, in Florida. And he was a juggler. He was a unicycle person. He was an acrobat. He did everything. And he died of a massive heart attack back right after school started. And he ran swim week. Our school has uh, what's called swim week. And he teaches them how to swim. It goes first through third grades. And basically he teaches, he teaches the kids how to swim. He, um, um, you know, they, they do fun time and then they do, you know, important time. And when I saw this, I had to grab it kind of like a memorial to him because he was like the most influential person our school system has ever had when it comes to health. And, you know, he, he would work out before school. He would work all day and then he'd work out after school. He was in his mid to late fifties. I think he was very young. And so I had to grab this just because of him and because of the name. So 
I got that from Mr. Burroughs. And so, yeah, I, I probably, I, I don't even know if I'll ever melt it. It just may be a memorial thing for me. But, I mean, he started a unicycle club at my kid's school. He, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing all the stuff he did in 17 years. All right. The last scent shot's Lead Zeppelin. I had to read back because the lid's cracked. It's ripe cherries, sugared citrus, and spun sugar. Cherries can kind of turn on me, so I didn't get any more than that. I did pick up one scoopable in footy pajamas, and this is sweet lavender blueberry and lemon laundry. I love blueberry and lavender together, and I love this. Look at that. There's like a turquoise and a purple and a white. I'm living for blueberry and lavender together, so... All right, last is my loaves. I, I only planned on getting three loaves and then I she swapped out the one and then I picked up another one because it's a scent I really like for fall. All right, so I grabbed Concord. This is the Barbershop 1920s and Tide. And then I did pick up a loaf in Footy Pajamas, which is the Sweet Lavender Blueberry Blend. And then here is that Midnight Cowboy. So that's what she swapped out for the Ducky Dozen. This is the one I went in for after because I just really wanted it. Sweet Caroline and, oops, I didn't even put the scent notes. Yeah, Sweet Caroline is that one. It's like a, it's kind of like a marshmallow fireside type scent. It's like marshmallows, toasted marshmallow and yeah, it smelled like marshmallow fireside or a variation of. And then I picked up Rocket Pop and it's the Lemon Lime Blue Raspberry and Cherry. And this one is red, white, and blue, just like the scent shot. So I wanted to grab that because it sounded really good. So now this is it for Hayden Rowe. I will not be buying again till after summer is over. Her wax is on the softer side. You don't need to microwave it to cut it. So that tells me I really need to not buy in the summer because if it's soft enough, I don't need to microwave to cut, then it's soft enough to melt while it's 90 plus degrees. We are starting Tuesday with the 90s. So... I'm not happy about it. It's too early. Usually that's June and on weather. So um, yeah, this is it for Hayden Row for me until fall. I do have enough. Um, I made sure to stock up really good. So this will be my last haul for her for a while, but um, I will still, I'll be melting and I'll be showing you what I've melted and everything, but I'll I'm going to plan on, I'll definitely be ordering again, just not till fall. So anyways, that is it for this video. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.